Dear friends and relatives, we're here gathered today believing that God is present with us as we celebrate the coming together in love of Adam and Alex. Today we remember that marriage is a time when a growing love becomes public, when two people share mutual promises before God and before us. Today we celebrate their joy, their love, and their expectation. Well, we're here. It's your wedding day. All the planning, all the prep is paid off. Weddings are amazing because oftentimes we're dreaming of who we'll be with and we might not even know who that is yet. But God knew this day was coming and he knew that he would bless it. And he looks down on this place and smiles on the two of you right now. We would like to say thank you for letting us witness this beautiful and holy event. Gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. Yes, <laughs> I got lipstick on you. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. I've all these tears. Save some tears for later. I know. <laughs> well, we're here. Yeah. Long time coming. What do you think? You look beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Is it what you thought? I mean, I, I didn't know what to think. Yeah. yeah. But it's gorgeous. Thank you. You're gorgeous. Thank you. I was in my room getting uh, ready a little bit, and I see you walking out and sitting out there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Practicing. Yeah. I'm watching you. I'll still mess it up. <laughs> Adam. I often think back to a day when I was 16 years old, sitting in the car with my best friend, telling her I'm going to marry this boy someday. Well, that day is today, the day I've been dreaming about for the past seven years. I sometimes wonder how I possibly could have known that one day you would be my husband. The truth is, I have loved you since the day I met you. From the very beginning, I knew you were everything I wanted and needed. Adam, I promise to support you in your dreams and aspirations and to be there to encourage you always. So we just keep these forever and look back <laughs> and we're yelling at each other? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alex, I applaud you because you can say today that you're the most beautiful thing in Bozeman. Although we've been together for seven amazing years now, I knew long ago I would be your husband and you'd be my wife. I remember five years ago, I was bedridden with mono, and my girlfriend of two years would unannounced bring me a smoothie from Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> it was a simple act of selflessness that made me think beyond high school into a future where I had to decide who I wanted to share my life with. Now here we are, after three chapters of our life. Innocent high schoolers, long distance college students, and now adults who have to figure out how to conquer this world. So as we continue on together, here's some things I promise I will do as your husband. Alex, I promise to love you forever through good and hard times. I promise to support you in your career aspirations and do whatever I can so that you can chase your dreams. When we have kids, I promise to love them, care for them, and guide them as they grow into adults. I promise to lead our household in the name of Jesus. I promise to always take care of you. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to cook you good food, to get Milo's belly, <laughs> to always try to make you laugh, and give you the best life I can. Lord willing, I promise to grow old with you, to sit in a rocking chair, wrinkly with aching joints, but with my best friend next to me, thinking about what we have accomplished with our lives and our marriage to each other. To finish a quote from one of my favorite movies, Transformers, I will follow you until the end of time. I love you, and you're my squish. <laughs> oh, <God>, thank you.
Weddings are amazing because oftentimes we're dreaming of who we'll be with and we might not even know who that is yet. But God knew this day was coming and he knew that he would bless it. And he looks down on this place and smiles on the two of you right now. This is what a wedding is all about. God knew that you two would fall in love with one another. What's happening right here is Adam, today, you're saying, Alex, I love you with everything I've got. I accept you fully. And Alex, here's the good part. You're not trying to earn his love or acceptance anymore. Today and this day forward, you have it all. You have his unyielding, undivided devotion. You have all the love of the other person. Now give each other yourselves fully, forever and ever. Adam and Alex, since you have promised your love to each other in the presence of God and these witnesses and exchanged vows and rings, hear the charge of the Lord Jesus when he commanded it in Mark. What God has joined together, let no one separate. So by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of the bride and groom, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, soon to return for us, his bride, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I declare that Adam and Alex are husband and wife. Adam, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to announce for the very first time, Adam and Alex Nicodemus. The love these two have for each other is an abnormality in today's age. It goes beyond the simple good morning or good night texts, uh, beyond the simple title of being a boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, or husband. It's even deeper than the words I love you. I see in the way they look at each other. It's nothing special to an untrained eye. But to these two, the look is that of an unbreakable love, constructed off their foundation of their unwavering faith and trust in each other. Alex and Adam, we love you both very, very much. Um, you guys are just amazing together. We've seen you grow and grow and grow these last years, especially while you were apart. You are meant to be. You are each other's best friends. Alex and Adam, the reason why we're so thrilled with your relationship, because it, it reminds us of ourselves. We met. As you know, in high school, there are some bumps that you'll get, but you'll get through the bumps, but you've got such a good foundation to go with. I am honored to be your dad, both of you, and I'm humbled about the kind of man you've become and the kind of woman you are, Alex, and we love you. I always talk about your best and worst of each day, just like we did when you guys, when Adam was a little kid. Communicate as well as you can, never go to bed mad, and always say I'm sorry. We are so grateful that all of you are here and sharing this with us. Um, we're just so blessed with all our friends and family. The love you two share has been so strong and has gotten you through so much. I'm so happy that you two have found each other and have chosen to spend the rest of your lives together. Words cannot begin to describe how happy I am for the both of you and I'm so honored to be here to celebrate your love. So congratulations to the Nicodemuses. I am so excited for all the journeys you're about to embark on. I love you both. We couldn't ask for anything more for our daughter. Adam, way to go, bud. 